So, Tyler, we are headed to Omaha next week. We are going to Nebraska. Why? We don't have family there. There's nothing, uh, no, no big reason that we would normally go to Omaha. It is oh, we're going for steak. We're we're going, steak. We are going for steak. We, I think we have three different steakhouses booked while we're there. But we are going to see Warren Buffett because it is Berkshire Hathaway's annual meeting. Warren Buffett is 92 years old right now. Charlie Munger is 99 years old. Both of them conduct a long Q&A session at the annual meeting. And who knows how many more chances we'll get to see both of them together. Um, I know for Munger especially, it's becoming difficult for him to travel these days. Um, so I'm really looking forward to it. But one of the big questions I always get whenever we mention Berkshire Hathaway on a show is Warren Buffett likes dividends so much. I mean, look at some of Berkshire's biggest stock positions, Apple, Coca-Cola, American Express, Bank of America, all excellent dividend stocks. Why doesn't Berkshire itself pay a dividend to its loyal investors? It's a very mature business. They're making a lot of operating profits. They can afford to pay a dividend. So why don't they? I mean, there's part of me as the owner that says, that would be nice. But, uh, you know, it's, I know you're going to get to the quote, but there's also the part of it where it's like, it's a serial acquirer of businesses. And so if I'm going to be serially acquiring new businesses, maybe just keep the cash around to buy businesses. So Warren Buffett has laid out five different ways that he would rather spend money than dividends. And in descending order, Bill, to meet the capital needs of his current businesses, if, you know, I don't know, Dairy Queen, which is one of their subsidiaries, if they need money for an expansion or something like that, that would be priority number one. Number two is bolt-on acquisitions, um, meaning, you know, acquiring things that complement their existing businesses, a small insurance company to add to General Re or Geico or something like that. Uh, number three would be new acquisitions that are outside of its current business lines. Um, uh, four is publicly traded stocks. We mentioned the stock portfolio. That's been a big focus lately. And five are stock buybacks, which Berkshire has been doing quite a bit of lately. So all of those things would have to not be available for Buck Buffett to want to pay a dividend. Um, so Buffett advises people, and this is from his 2013 letter to shareholders. So he said this about 10 years ago when someone asked this question. He said, if someone wants income, just sell 3% of your shares every year. I think 3.2% was the figure that he used in his mathematical example. But there's a few benefits to this. Um, one, Berkshire gets to continue to use its money the way in the ways it sees fit at the time, which no one can really argue with Buffett's track record of doing that. And two, it gives the shareholder tax flexibility. If you don't want a big tax bill this year, just don't sell some of your shares and take money out. If you, I mean, if you're paying, being paid a dividend in a taxable brokerage account, you don't really have that option. If you, if a company pays you a dividend, you're going to get taxed on it. Um, I don't know, Tyler, I think you're a Berkshire Hathaway shareholder. You're going to the meeting, so unless someone's sneaking you in. Yeah, I'm, I'm sneaking in quietly. Um, I do, I am curious, though. Do you think that, I'm not saying like the day after, you know, Warren is no longer in charge or, or Charlie's around, do you think there's a possibility that they might go to a dividend? Like there's part of me that says like without the aura of, Buffett behind the business, is there a possibility that like, you know, they start paying a dividend? I don't, yes and no. I say no because the, the two guys who are going to be in charge of employing Berkshire's cash are more tech focused than Buffett is. And there will be a bigger investable universe of companies that they can go after compared to what they can do now. So I, I, don't think they will go to a dividend. I'm pretty sure Buffett has made it clear that that's not his wish <laughs> that Berkshire go, will ever pay a dividend. But never say never. I can see special dividends uh, here and again. I don't think Buff Berkshire will ever actually pay a regular dividend, uh, at least in my lifetime. But I could be proven wrong. I've been wrong before. Once again, thank you so much for joining me. Be sure to click subscribe if you don't subscribe to my channel already. And as always, this video is sponsored by The Motley Fool. Be sure to visit www.fool.com slash frankel to receive the 10 top 10 best stocks to buy now.